During this training module, we will show you how to create local repositories in Artifactory. First, you must log in as an admin user. Go to the Admins tab. Under the Repository section, we'll select Local and then click New. The first thing to do when creating a new repository is to select the package type. We'll select the Maven package type and then give it the name Maven Mock Demo Local. In theory, we can just hit Save and Finish, and then we are done. But let's take a look at the different configuration options we have before hitting Save and Finish. We begin at the Basic section of the configuration. In this section, we can provide textual description of the repository with its purpose and configure include and exclude patterns that will be evaluated during artifact resolution in order to determine if the requested content can be served. Below that, on the bottom left corner, we see JFrog X-Ray integration. This is where you can allow this repository to be indexed by JFrog X-Ray and set policies blocking artifacts for download based on different rules you configure. Next, let's look at the Advanced section. In the Advanced section are the Property Sets. Property Sets are collections of properties available via the user interface. In each property set, you can define properties, and for each property, specify whether property is open, single value, or multi-value. This impacts the user interface you see when setting or searching a property value. Using searchable properties in artifact management is a very powerful feature. Below the property sets, we see two checkboxes. The first one is the blacked out checkbox. Blacking out an artifact repository makes the repository act like it doesn't exist. This means that for any received request for this repository, Artifactory will return a 404 response. You might ask yourself, why would I want to black out a repository? The most common use case for doing this is for repository deprecation. In the process of deprecation, you can mark this repository as blacked out. Any client who tries to use it is going to get a 404 error. And if you determine no one requires access to this repo, then you know it's safe to delete the repository. The second checkbox is Allow Content Browsing. The default behavior of Artifactory is such that when you download an artifact, it's going to be downloaded and not displayed, even if it is a MIME type that the browser knows. It's just going to download it instead of displaying it, but sometimes you may want different behavior. When this box is checked, Artifactory will provide the web browser with the content's MIME type, which allow the browser to render the content correctly. The most common use case for this feature are Javadoc files, which are in effect HTML files.